Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Executive Vice President of FEE, Richard Lawrence. Hey, good evening, everybody. How was your Friday? Enjoy the breakouts? Enjoy the panels? I got to sit in a few of them. They were, they were really good. So we have some really, really special programming here for you tonight. And uh, we're really looking forward to introducing that to you in just a moment. Before we do that, though, I do want to mention a few of our very many sponsors here at FeeCon. We've been mentioning a few of them from the stage throughout the program. I'm only going to mention a few of them here. And those include Market Urbanism, Reason, America's Future Foundation, Retzel, Americans for Prosperity, and the Grassroots Leadership Academy. Let's give our sponsors a round of applause. Now, I do want to make special note of one particular sponsor, and that is the Ralph Smead Private Memorial Foundation, which is sponsoring the Challenging Statism Track. And so if you haven't had a chance to go on any of those programs, please be sure to do that. Let's thank the Ralph Smead Memorial Foundation as well. So it is my honor again to introduce to you Larry Reed, FEE's president. Larry? OK, thanks, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. This is a very special moment for me. From the time I first learned of the young man I'm about to introduce, I was drawn powerfully to his story. His name is Willie Arteaga, and he comes from Venezuela. He doesn't speak English, but he does speak the universal language of liberty through music. One of the character traits that are needed for a free society is courage, uncommon courage. The world is full of people who would be happy to take your liberty if given the opportunity, and young Willie Arteaga knows this better than almost anybody. Willie grew up in a poor family in a remote part of Venezuela. He never saw a television set or a computer or a violin before the age of 18, and that was just six years ago. He was only a child when Hugo Chavez came to power. So until he was able to get out of his native country just a few months ago and come to America, socialism was the only economic system he knew. But before he was 20, he had taught himself to play the violin by way of YouTube videos. And then he became one of the leading and best known dissidents against the tyranny of Venezuelan socialism leading protesters in the streets, demanding the liberation of his fellow citizens. For the crime of opposing the socialist government, he suffered repeated beatings, arrests, and imprisonment. As he plays his violin for us, you will see some of the actual scenes of his bravery in the streets of Caracas. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you one of the most courageous young men I know, Willie Arteaga.
Thank you. You're a hero. Would you like to hear another one? Yeah. One, one more? Willie, that was a spectacular, really. Please, another round of applause for Willie, please. My name is Jorge Jarisati, and that was a spectacular not only for the quality of the music, it was spectacular because what it represents. This music represents the battle of my people. It represents the battle for freedom. It represents the battle of, for a better country in which we all have freedom, social, economic, and political freedom, and we all have the opportunity to be happy and to prosper in Venezuela. This music represents everything for us. It represents the fight of my generation a generation that we only want a different kind of country, and a generation that is grateful with all of you who are here tonight. FI represents the values that I want for my country, of a free society. And the fact that you are here is the fact that you care about those values. Values that change life. Values that change the life of millions of people. The people who need us the most. The people who are struggling every day, and that I'm sure that with freedom, they will be better off, and there will be a great country, a great Venezuela tomorrow. I also have, for Lawrence and with my friend Javier, who can come to the stage, a gift, a special gift from the Foundation for Economic Education. So, please, Javier. Uh, well, there's many things that FEE Foundation have been, um, I mean, all that support and help uh, to the people to Venezuela, so we want to thank FI Foundation, all the staff of, uh, from FI, and also you, Larry. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, <coughs> sorry. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, Javier. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you so much, Jorge. This is on behalf of 35 million people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thanks to all three of you. And I promise you that the day is coming when we will be doing a fee seminar in Caracas. We will. Wow. We will. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you really. Thank you so much.